This was a call to rally support. With voices of dissent growing at home and abroad, President Joe Biden used his speech in Warsaw to paint the challenge of the war in Ukraine in stark terms. No one, no one can turn away their eyes from the atrocities Russia is committing against the Ukrainian people. It's abhorrent. It's abhorrent. But extraordinarily, as well, has been the response of the Ukrainian people and the world. His unannounced visit to Kyiv the day before perhaps overshadowed the address, but he knows people are growing tired of the cost, of the pain and of the loss. And he re-emphasized America's commitment to the battle. President Putin is confronted with something today that he didn't think was possible a year ago. The democracies of the world have grown stronger, not weaker. But the autocrats of the world have grown weaker, not stronger. Because in the mo moments of great upheaval and uncertainty, that knowing what you stand for is most important. And knowing who stands with you makes all the difference. The president is aware of those who want him to do more. If he wasn't, there was a sign in a central square in Warsaw to remind him, calling on America to put jets in the fight. He won't. But aware his Russian counterpart spoke hours earlier, he addressed the Russian people directly. The United States and the nations of Europe do not seek to control or destroy Russia. The West was not plotting to attack Russia, as Putin said today. And millions of Russian citizens who only want to live in peace with their neighbors are not the enemy. A year ago, Joe Biden warned skeptical allies about the dangers of Russian troops massed on the border of Ukraine, even as Vladimir Putin was saying he had no intention of invading. This speech was all about warning those allies of the consequences of walking away or losing this fight. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Warsaw.